Did we get to a place where you can create your own digital twin, your own avatar? The technology is there. So I looked into it. What kind of technology we have when it comes to video AI? What can we do with it? I wanted to do a small project which failed miserably, I would say, and I'll show you why. Then I thought, okay, if I found something interesting, why not share it with everyone? And hey, just to let you know, I've subscribed to some of these services to showcase them to you and their capability so you wouldn't have to do that yourself. So with this, let's just jump straight in. Subscribe to Daddy's channel, The Mic. So fundamentally, when I started looking into this thing, I wanted to advertise my long form through short form that I thought I'm willing to experiment with AI. I know most users, I don't like AI. Probably I would skip AI kind of content if I see it. Uh, but I was questioning, is it good enough that it would pass the sniff test for many people um, for me to create a long form video and then quickly send something snappy, something short that someone could look at, get some interest to check out my longer form where I actually spend the whole, the whole time doing it and developing it, editing it and so forth. And then they subscribe and that helps the growth of my channel. Uh, so I had to explore and I, I got some nice results of things out there that maybe not perfect today, but at some point will be amazing tools to have. And I will share it with you, those ideas that I got, but also I will give you like a couple of tools. I am sure you know about them. You heard about them. You saw people do videos and content about them. I said, what the hell? I'll do my own content about those as well and give my two cents, especially that those are language or delicate uh, sensitive. So I'm, I speak in English, but I'm, I'm not a native English speaker. So those failed miserably in that area and that domain. So to start off, I found this tool. It's called pickle.ai or getpickle.ai. And the whole premise of this tool is that you create an avatar and that avatar can attend calls on your behalf on Teams. So you can see the demo here. So this is what your colleagues or your customer will see on Teams while this is the actual person doing the call. So it is real time kind of um, modification of the avatar and the movement of the mouth. Uh, you can see hand gestures. Um, obviously there will be some scenery, standard scenery that based on your recording or maybe plugged in through the application that you can use. And that will allow you basically to take calls from everywhere without affecting your business uh, image, especially if you work in, in something like sales and you don't want to really go and appear in front of your customer with a t-shirt or whatever you're wearing wherever you are. So I thought this is super interesting. You can get started with it. I didn't go. Maybe it's a less well-known tool. I wouldn't use it myself. Um, I'm okay to go on a t-shirt in most cases, not all cases, but um, thought to share this with you. I'll put all the links in the description. The next one is called uh, Pine Screen. And Pine Screen is a service probably more for movie makers, Hollywood, this kind of thing. Um, even I think small scale ones and it can do a lot with footage, with high quality footage in terms of changing the image in a way that actually gets the characters to say something else or do something else. So I would say this could be used for creative purposes, but also it could be used to fix something that they missed and an error happened and they don't need to spend a lot of money to retake that whole uh, take if it fails. Uh, it has potential. So I've seen this, by the way, in a demo on um, uh, the 1 billion summit uh, conference that happened here in Dubai. Yes, I'm now attending social media events uh, just to see uh, and learn from people who actually know what they're doing when it comes to YouTube and these things. So um, one of the presenters actually talked about uh, this and I thought it is something super interesting to show to everyone. I'm sure you'll find demos that you can see. They call it AI VFX and they have services, projects, technology. They, they explain the whole thing. You can go into it. They have an SDK. So it's something that you can actually put within a, a flow of your own or system of your own. Um, interesting thing, uh, not again my thing, but you can go see it. So here you can see um, target face and source, and then they join two. So it's like a face swap on video where you can have someone like Churchill here uh, actually appear uh, uh, very realis realistically in um, when it comes to uh, an actual movie. If you um, 
uh, promote one where you want it to be really authentic. So you can have somehow at some point in the future, the actual Churchill in your movie, you can go check it out. It doesn't seem to be something really small. It seems to be something significant and serious. And then there is uh, DID, D-ID, studio.did.com. Again, all the links will be in the description. This is one of the more well-known uh, kind of services where you can do two things. You can actually train and create your own avatar. So train their models and create your own avatar. You can create those videos uh, vertical or horizontal on the platform. So you can go in and put in a script. It will use your avatar to create a video for you in whatever format you want. You can also create uh, videos based on the avatars they offer. They have their own standard avatars that you see here on the screen. So you see Diana, Amy, Lily, Lucas. So they have a lot of things um, and also they have background. So you can play with it, create videos, and also they have an API offered. So having that access or buying that access, in theory, you can go and build videos based on your avatar or their standard avatars and pump content through automations on your YouTube channel or other uh, social media like TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or whatever. So I've tested it. I've created my avatar. I've paid the subscription, as I said, and I created my avatar just to show you. Now, I tried it in, in the two top tools, I would say, in, in the market, at least to my knowledge. Tell me if there's something better. And in both cases, I the, the face was one of them was great, the other one was okay, and I'll tell you at the end which is which, but maybe you could tell for yourself. But um, the audio, my voice, wasn't replicated even close. I think the visual, as I said, one got it really, really good, one got it okay, but people could tell, but voice neither got it right. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to push content, uh, even probably it will take time until it's so perfect that you can tell, but I wouldn't push content where it doesn't sound like me at all. Um, so uh, let, let me show you this one. So this is again, DID um, platform. And this is the video I created. I tried to create two based on the um, same script. So the other one is Hey Jen. So there's no reveal there. So you're gonna hear Hey Jen here because I started with that and the script was just introducing Hey Jen. Um, yeah, I'm so creative. So let me play the video for you. And you tell me what you think. You tell me how, how, how this really looks and feels. Welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. Simply type your script to get started. Hello, tech enthusiast. Today, we're exploring HeyGen, an AI-powered video creation platform that simplifies producing professional videos. With HeyGen, you can create engaging content using customizable avatars and text-to-speech technology all without needing advanced technical skills. It's a game changer for anyone looking to enhance their yeah, digital. That's enough. I don't think it's good at all. And even the visual, you can see some artifacts happening uh, around the mouth and eyes uh, at instances. And the voice is like a weird British voice. I'm not British, obviously. Um, so I don't know. At some point, I think when they have enough training or the model gets so good that it can fine tune itself to my actual um tone of voice and the way the semantics I use and make it a carbon copy to my my way of speaking, which I think will take some time, then it will change. It, it will make these kind of services really much more appealing than it is today. What I liked about uh, DID is that it is really well priced, maybe not giving like the best quality compared to HeyGen, but it's also the difference in quality between both doesn't justify how HeyGen is more ex expensive. So uh, this within like five, uh, six dollars, you get a certain kind of credit to use the platform and also you get access to the API. So, um, and you can you can see there's so many things you can do uh, as services here in uh, DID. Anyway, so now you can even get the API uh, key from here and do more things with it. Play with it if this is your thing. And you can see I bought uh, 40 credits and uh, then I canceled it $6. It's worthwhile to spend that money to show this to, to my audience. Now let's go to HeyGen as well. So this is HeyGen. So I'll have to say something nice about HeyGen because when I went to HeyGen, I found there's two pricing models that I can show briefly uh, after this. One of them is for API. 
which is totally separate and one of them is for the platform for my usage the api like is around a hundred dollars a month the usage of the website i think is 26 dollars a month so i assumed if you buy api access you get some credit on the website so i bought the api access hundred dollars and then i was surprised i had to buy also a membership for the platform for me to create my own avatar was a little bit frustrating and super expensive so totally it's 126 dollars and i said you know what i'm gonna test it for two three months if it is that quality if it's that high of a quality i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna test it i'm gonna see how people react to it i was thinking of creating another channel so i wouldn't bother my audience with with uh, testing this and see how that goes and it wasn't what i expected so the good thing i'm gonna say about hey Jen is that when i asked for a refund and I canceled my subscription. They accepted that claim and they returned my money back to me. I only did one video and they were even nice enough. I think this is part of the system, but it stayed here so I can show you that video and you can judge for yourself the quality. The video is amazing, I would say. The audio is what turned me away from the platform. Now, if you're a native English speaker, I would say American, English, Scottish, Irish, Australian, whatever um, the location where you live and English is mainly your native language. I think these models are trained really well on native speakers in English and probably it will replicate you, especially the American ones, I would say American uh, slang, it will replicate really, really well. So it might be a totally different story for you. So let me just click on this one and let's watch the, this one I did it in vertical, so, but it's the same script. Let me put in full screen, hit play. Welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. Simply type your script to get started. Hello, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're exploring HeyGen, an AI-powered video creation platform that simplifies producing professional videos. With HeyGen, you can create engaging content using customizable avatars and text-to-speech technology, all without needing advanced technical skills. It's a game changer for anyone looking to enhance their digital storytelling. If you found this overview helpful and want to dive deeper into AI, automation, and low-code, no-code solutions, subscribe to my YouTube channel, I give Mythemic 22 So I just want to highlight one amazing thing. So I'm sure you see the, the advancement over uh, DID. The face, um, the eyes, the mouth. Not perfect, but better. I mean, better maybe doesn't justify the increase in price, but it is better. What really boggled my mind in this one, if you notice the the way i appear in the back screen which is this is a snapshot from my studio by the way actually the the model the way it's creating those hand gestures the movement it's exactly how it reflected in the reflection here or in the screen here which is totally impressive honestly like um it could be something uh, like a normal behavior out of the the model but it's still impressive you know, let me play a couple of seconds more so you can just take a look and see my arms, how they move here in the main shot and how they move in the screen as if I'm in front of the screen and how they move here in the screen in the background. So let's hit play for a couple of seconds. Our community and let's demystify technology together. Didn't show, let me do it in the beginning here. Started. Hello, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're exploring HeyGen an AI-powered video creation platform that simplifies producing professional videos. With HeyGen, you can create engaging content see using that? customizable see avatars and text-to-speech technology, all without Impressive. needing... So for me, neither were worthwhile to pay and commit and to push out as content. It's not even good to test. If you're American, if you're English, I think those two delicates of English for native speakers are easy to replicate by those models and going to the prices quickly so did you can see the cheapest one is 4.7 dollars per month if you want to go to the pro it's 16 and then there's advanced you can look at the differences it's mostly credit and maybe i think um, what you can do in terms of um, the grade of the video that you generate so full hd 4k i'm not sure you have to read it but i just want to show you the difference in price between them and then you can go to the pricing and API. So if you want to build, you can get $14.4 per month. So totally you're talking about $20 per month for API access and platform access to build and create things. Um, there's even a free version. So you'd get maybe a certain limit on just testing the API. 
which is interesting. Now, if you go to Heijan, so you have this creator, $29 per month. So this is what you have to pay to actually create things on the platform. Now, if we go to the API pricing, and you'll see here that to get 100 credit, it's nearly $100, $99 per month. So we're talking about actually $128 per month for both the platforms where you maintain, probably you can, you can take it for one month, create your avatars and do it once and then just work through the API maybe, uh, but still super expensive. And definitely, you know, unless the, the audio is perfect for me, even I would be compromising a little bit on the video. Um, I wouldn't like this is not worth it for me to, to even test but i know these are the top two services in this domain so it was a quick one i thought yeah i did some research maybe it's worthwhile to share it with you tease your brain maybe it's something you want to play around with tell me if you actually do an automation with one of these models and tell me if you train the, your own avatar you create your own avatar that is snap on and you think it's 90% or 80% above replicates you and can pass that sniff test of people watching it and thinking, oh, you know what? It's, it could be a human and it could be AI. So tell me what you think. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, share it and subscribe. It's free. And with that, thank you and goodbye. Subscribe to daddy's channel. Give me the mic.